Hello, my name is Mark Wood. I'm a professional photographer. Seeing colour and tone accurately is very important to me. In my work I seek to draw out the full potential of a raw photograph, enhancing the tones and changing the colours. Even when working in monochrome, it's essential that the monitor that I use renders my raw files accurately, mapping the tones I'm adjusting in a consistent and reliable way. What I see on my monitor is what I expect to see when my work is reproduced in magazines. Here you see three of my photo composite prints. I need a monitor that I can rely on. There is considerable time, effort and expense when printing and framing these works and I want to be sure that I've been doing my work properly. This is my workspace with two BenQ monitors. The BenQ SW2700PT is a really good monitor at a really good price. As photographers, we're more likely to want a new camera or lens than spend our hard-earned money on a computer monitor. But without a reliable display, you could be heading for a whole world of pain and frustration. Whether that's wasted inkjet supplies or disappointing prints from your photo lab. And for professionals, weak looking work when your image is published. These photographs are from an interior design shoot. The accuracy of tones and colour reproduction are essential in this kind of work. Here is another example. Hook print is my online gallery of fine art prints. Visitors to Hook Print can browse and buy my work. I rely on world-class studios in the United States and the United Kingdom to print my work. They mail out the prints directly to my customers. So if I don't have a reliable monitor, my customers may be disappointed, perhaps even angry with the quality of the work. And this is certainly not what I want for Hook Print. We all want to do a great job, so Take a look at the BenQ 2700PT monitor. It covers 99% of Adobe RGB and has very low variance in tone across the display area. You can hardware calibrate it too to fine tune your colour accuracy. And it ships with a shading hood to help you see your work clearly, free from unwanted reflections and light. You can learn more on the SW2700PT product pages at BenQ.com. Let's get technical. In order to see tone and colour properly, a digital image needs to have sufficient bit depth. Here are four examples of varying bit depth. Each circle is supposed to represent a sphere. In the one bit image there are only two steps, the pixels are either switched on or off, and it's not good. It's only when we get to the 8-bit image or the 256 steps where the sphere is rendered properly. But a digital RAW file can contain thousands or tens of thousands of tones per channel. Only seeing 8 bits limits your creative vision. Because the BenQ SW2700PT displays gradients smoothly, you can assess at what point your image has been pushed too far. Here the sky could present some problems. It's a subtle gradient and could be prone to banding or posterization. The ground is a rough dusty road and posterization would be hard to spot here. What does Adobe RGB represent? Here we see a chroma cysti arch. It's the multicolored shape. It represents all the colors of standard human perception. The large red triangle is pro photo, a colour space so big that it contains colours we can't see. The black shape is a generic CMYK or cyan, magenta, yellow and black print space. sRGB is the red dotted line and the white triangle is Adobe RGB. Adobe RGB contains almost all of the CMYK colours and the colours an inkjet printer can reproduce. sRGB is ok for online graphics, but only a display that can show most of Adobe RGB, such as the 99% coverage of the SW2700PT, can be trusted for print. If I were to ask which was the brightest and best red, you're likely to choose A. The red of square C is clearly very weak and the red in square B has a slight blue tint. With Adobe RGB coverage, you're assured of reproducing the most vibrant colours accurately. 
The vibrancy issue though is uh, more subtle than this example. This image looks good. It's an emulation of sRGB. Now let's simulate Adobe RGB. If you're viewing this on a laptop, the change might have been too subtle. Here is an overlay of the colours that have changed. If your monitor doesn't cover Adobe RGB, you can't assess print colours visually. We've been talking about colour management, a topic that can strike fear into the heart of the hardiest photographers. But colour management isn't solely about getting colours from a scene to render accurately in print. You may wish to stylize your colours, as in this example here. And after taking time to create a mood, you wouldn't want any nasty surprises as your work is pushed out on the web or in print. With a properly calibrated and profiled monitor, you can experiment with soft proofing. Here we see the print dialog box in Adobe Photoshop. The paper type has been set to a fine art bamboo paper, and the colour of the paper is set to display too. Using my hardware calibrated SW2700PT, I can see a simulation of the image as it will appear in print, and that's invaluable. As you have seen, I'm passionate about the art and science of digital photography. To be successful, you need the right equipment. So when you're looking for your next monitor, take a look at what BenQ has to offer. The SW2700PT is a great monitor at a great price.